This video is actually going to be about why I'm so crazy over Kershaw knives. Anyhow, here we are at Bymart. Bymart is kind of contributing to whatever's coming down the pike. If things go badly, like myself and a lot of other people believe, at least some of us will have benefited from Bymart by being able to uh, get the uh, survival needs and security needs that we have to have. Okay, so here's the deal. I was in here yesterday and took a glance at the knife case and they had like almost I think a handmade sign on it saying they had this uh, Kershaw knife on sale for I think it was 80 or 90 bucks but it said it was one of the Kershaw automatics and I printed this off before I left this morning here's all the Kershaw automatics that they list on their website and there's 11 of them and I seem to recall it kind of looked like this one, the Launch 6. That retails for $189.99. But if they had that Kershaw knife in there, or any of these automatic knives, for $89, except for that one, the 10, I'm probably going to buy one. So, let's go find out. And I'm going to leave my camera turned off and in my pocket for this little transaction. Well, crap, I didn't get that knife. And as I suspected, it was the Kershaw Launch 6. That one right there. The deal was that was the last one that they had and Bymart was not gonna carry it any longer because they didn't sell too many of them. Yeah, he said that was the very last one they had. Some guy wanted it. It was a display model. They didn't even have the box for it. And it went for $89.97. And on the Kershaw website, the retail price is $189.99. Oh well, I didn't come out of the store empty handed. I never do. I bought uh, ammo, and this is a really good deal. 200 rounds of uh, Hornady HMR 17 grain VMAX, $32.97. And these Blazer brass nine millimeter 115 grains, $8.97 each. So, let's get back to the story of how I ended up with all these Kershaw knives recently. Well, it's too bad I wasn't able to get that Kershaw Launch 6 automatic knife. It was on sale down at uh, my local Bymart store. So, why am I so crazy about Kershaw knives? Two reasons because they are very high in quality and very low in price. So this all started actually two years ago at a Black Friday sale at my Bymart store. They had some Kershaw knives on sale. And I went down and bought three of them. I was gonna give them all for gifts, but I ended up keeping two of them. This little oh so sweet and another three inch Kershaw knife called the Zing. And I absolutely fell in love with them, especially my little Zing. Well, this year, right before Christmas, I was uh, walking our dogs downtown, and I was EDCing my Zing that day. And for some idiotic reason, instead of clipping it inside my pants pocket, I clipped it inside this watch pocket right here. And I ended up losing my little Zing. As I walked, it worked its way out and fell on the ground. So fast forward to Christmas time this year, and Kershaw knives came on sale again down at my Bymart store. Actually, it was one knife, the Deadline, and I went and picked one up. I don't remember what I paid for it exactly, but I think it was like maybe $29.95, but I thought that was a pretty good deal, and it's an awesome knife. It doesn't have the speed safe opening system like the Oso oh Sweet and my other knives. It's just a regular flipper, but the blade on this one is absolutely wicked and it's beautiful stainless steel. It's very thin configuration, very awesome for carrying. Then a couple weeks later, more Kershaw knives came on sale in my area, this time at Big Five Sporting Goods. And wouldn't you know it, one of them was the Zing. So I had to absolutely buy one of those, and I got my new replacement Zing at Big Five Sporting Goods in Grants Pass for $18, if you can believe that. And there it is.
beautiful little knife. But I wasn't done. There were more knives on sale. And they also had the Deadline on sale. The same knife right here. And it was also $18. So I bought another Deadline. And there's one in there, unopened. Then they had a third one on sale. And this one is called the Flitch. But it's also a little bit bigger knife than the uh, Deadline. However, it too has the speed safe opening system. And that's really what I'm looking for in an EDC, is their speed safe opening. Now, if they would just take the Deadline and make it a speed safe opener, I would make it my EDC knife. But I'm gonna go with the Flitch right now. And you can see it's got a little bit longer blade than the Deadline, and the overall length is a little bit longer too. But it does have a really nice gripping area. Good finger grooves right there. You can get a really firm hold on that knife. So what I'm gonna do with the Deadline, I'm gonna uh, carry it for my outdoor knife when I go hunting and fishing. I love the straight, razor sharp design of this blade. This is gonna be perfect for opening up big game animals when you start, you know, at the very bottom and make that cut all the way up to their neck. And it's not gonna be as important that it opens lightning quick like the speed safe. And the flitch is gonna be my EDC knife, at least for now. This is a serious piece of cutlery here, and I think you could defend yourself very well with this knife. The little thing is going to remain my dress up knife and also my EDC when I want something really deep cover. And the Oso oh Sweet, it's just going to be my all around go to pocket knife. But it's almost impossible to believe that knives of this quality would go for $18. If you go on the Kershaw website, you'll see that they have literally hundreds of different knives and their retail prices are way above $18. Kershaw, which is based here in Oregon, has kind of become a knife collector's dream. And I think they can afford to have these sales once in a while with these really, really cut down prices because they sell so many of their models to collectors. You know, a new Kershaw knife comes out and people want it. Not because they need it, they just want it. And I really think that's how they're able to sell their knives so cheaply. And even though most of their knives are made in China, they are still very, very high quality. I am totally impressed with Kershaw knives. And I'm telling you, the same liberals that are coming for our guns now, it's not going to be long before they're coming for these. You should get some.